I'm Andrew from Brunette Chablons. This is a Ukrainian uh, music band based in Kyiv. And our music genre is probably indie, alternative, pop or rock. Uh, when you're just starting, uh, it's uh, pretty hard to get noticed by a brand. So you're probably gonna shoot and finance your first video by yourself or you know by your band. But as soon as you have one popular song or video, uh, you can start collaborating with brands. And uh, it's a very cool thing, especially for independent bands, independent artists. Uh, because um, you can get sponsorship, but for them, they can reach your audience. So it's kind of a win-win situation. But it's always better to have some kind of a plan how to promote your video very fast. Like in the first day, your main uh, goal is to have as many views in the first day of uh, uh, release of your video. So we need to think about this strategy on different social medias like on YouTube, on Instagram. You can send them some teasers or screenshots in advance and say hey like in a couple of weeks we're gonna release this video, here's a fragment of this video. Uh, would you be interested in uh, posting this one in the day of the release? And it's very important to have this everything in like first, second day. Uh, so people could start uh, talking about this video. You want me to forget about us You want me to forget about Not sure if I could try, try If you're a musician, uh, your music should always be in the first place. Uh, but you need to think about uh, music videos as a tool to promote your music. Uh, and the second thing is that sometimes if you uh, can, some, can say something by your music, if you can convey it by your song, uh, you can always have it in your video. And sometimes your video can help your listener to understand your song better. So I think songs and videos, they should help each other, but you need to have your song in the first place always and then you've got your video not uh, the other way around if talking about producing music videos it's always better to have a good idea than to have only a big budget of course having both is a perfect match but sometimes, you know, if you're like out of money, you just don't have any other options. So you just need to go with what you have. So if you want to kind of stand out, you just need to uh, have something besides music. And uh, it's a great way to deliver your music to your audience. Because if, you, if you're not on the radio, if you don't have an access to uh, TV, to music channels, uh, this is probably the only way that you can have your music uh, delivered to your listener. Both talking about uh, a song and a video and how they connect with each other. Uh, when we were working on this Knock Knock music video, at the same time uh, I was writing lyrics and, and uh, a script for this music video. It was like the same moment and sometimes some things which happened in uh, your lyrics, they can be like shown in your video. 
and uh, at the same time if you've got some idea for your video you can then uh, take it to your song Oh, please don't leave me in the morning, tell me everything has got to be right. I said, oh, baby, don't leave me alone this Saturday night. You've got this internet, you have so many opportunities. You've got Facebook, Spotify, YouTube. So basically, if you uh, have got a cool content, if you've got music or videos, it doesn't matter. Uh, you can always find a way how to uh, deliver your work to people. So uh, I think that as a mus musician you don't have to think about obstacles. Y you should think about opportunities, about how to uh, stand out and how to do what you love to play music and etc.